All right. <clears throat> So 6th of May, Thursday, all right. Now the timing basically sometimes is at 2, you normally it's at 2 p.m. there, if not 3 p.m. Because sometimes I may have something last minute to handle. So I may have to drag it out to 3 p.m. But it's definitely between 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. All right. So apology for those who uh, was waiting for me at 2 p.m. I am so sorry. I was caught by the rain. It was pretty uh, big rain earlier. All right. So today the caption is why ETH is a better buy over BTC. All right, ETH is Ethereum, BTC is Bitcoin, right? So let me explain to you in my perspective, right? What I gather from the internet, why is BTC a better buy, okay? Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, ETH is a better buy, sorry. Why ETH is a better buy, okay? Let me explain this to you. Now, before we start this uh, MAO, all right, I'd like you guys to give me a little bit confirmation on this whereby you know that whatever I say later on is based, is, is just learning it. You must have to do your own disclaimer, you must do your own risk management and you must understand what, what risk you're taking. And of course, you must know that the possible chance of losing money. Okay. So consider this carefully before you engage and check your current financial condition. Okay. All right. If you're going to stay on for the next five seconds, means that you already have uh, accept the uh, above disclaimer and you have identified me. All right. Five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, all right. So let's just continue. All right, so Ethereum rallied strongly. Apparently, right, yesterday, Ethereum classic steals show from Bitcoin and even Dogecoin, all right? Dogecoin, all right. So why is that? So apparently, right, Mark Kubal, he actually um, mentioned three good reasons and I'm going to show you very shortly about what he says. And of course, yesterday, but the main two runners was just Dogecoin and Ethereum. They were done running up. But of course, today, Bitcoin also recover a bit. So I'll come to all this shortly, all right? So what is the good reason for this uh, Ethereum? Now, number one, okay, the Ethereum blockchain consistently process more, more transaction per second than Bitcoin. So making payment faster and more productive. So that's a very good, this is a very good point. So that's why you can see Ethereum prices is going up very, very fast. All right, compared to this uh, Bitcoin, all right? So at the same time, talking about that. Then second, the more important thing is that it support the creation of application. Now this is actually very, very, very important. Ethereum is known for a smart contract which power and build decentralized application like D5, okay? And NFT. This tool is the one that's going crazy right now. Everybody's into D5 and NFT. So that's the reason why Ethereum, the command, the demand for this is going to be much, much greater than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is more for transaction purposes, okay? So right now, Bitcoin is more established store of value. It's a vault of value and there's no reason to think it will con it won't continue to be for a long time. Ethereum, on the other hand, is booming with development that I think that it will create so many new applications, right? I'm very sure of that too. So Bitcoin is more for storing of value, all right? Then, of course, there's something more to that, okay? Then for the third reason is that there's an upgrade coming up, right? There's an upgrade to the Ethereum blockchain called Ethereum 2.0, which launched in 2020, all right? So because of this 2.0, right, there is more, more, uh, more powerful stuff that's going to be used on Ethereum. And that's the reason why, again, Ethereum, after since the start of um, this year, you can see the Ethereum prices going up in a very fast pace. The only challenge for this Ethereum is that its investment is, is, is update is complete. Okay, meaning, right, until its update is complete. Because it's very difficult to know how this uh, 2.0 really will, will come and help. So <clears throat> at the moment now, it's quite difficult to to see which improvement will come to light. Lah. So that's why there is the only downside. But you think about this, uh, at this moment now, I'm sure the inside people will already know how good it is. And the continual price of this really speaks volume. So my personal take is this, right? It's just going to be better, not worse. Okay. So that is the three good reasons why you should be looking for Ethereum. So let's just bring to Ethereum to, your, to you first right now. Let's bring to you now. Okay, so uh, let's look at Ethereum. There we go. In the day chart first. Now look at Ethereum price, all right. It was at about 2,300 just about 10 days ago, around 10 days, around 10 trading days ago, and that means two weeks. Huh? So two weeks ago it was 2,300, okay, 2,300, and just a quick movement is up to 3,400. So it's up $1,000 in just such a short time period. That is almost 
50%, okay, almost 50%. So that's the reason why you can see that this Ethereum is in the great demand right now for the time being, okay? So um, Ethereum doable, tradable, like what we mentioned before, yes, indeed, you can see that for us, we can trade Ethereum pretty easily. So as long as, okay, as long as the, the KCX signal at the bottom give you the KCX signal from blue to green, look out for CCRY, you can buy Ethereum rather easily. Can you see that? Yeah, indeed. All right, so we have now live one more trade running round. There's one trade running out for Ethereum. So traders who wants to capture this trade, they can look at it, okay? Or wait for the color to change over first, okay? All right, so you got the idea? Yeah, pretty cool, right? Pretty simple. Okay, all right. So that is how we look at Ethereum. Okay, so of course now we have something even incredible is Dogecoin, Dogecoin, right? Dogecoin, right, as of yesterday when it was trading about 68 cents level. All right, apparently for Dogecoin, you can see the crazy part is that, right, it was worth $87 billion market cap at when it was 68 cents level. Oh my goodness. And apparently, right, for that moment itself, right, that particular uh, moment, okay, is more, market cap is even more than Moderna. So basically, life-saving vaccine, right, okay, is only worth $70 billion and Dogecoin is worth $87 billion. So you are telling me that this joke, okay, Dogecoin, right, is worth more than Moderna, all right? So you can look at it. This is how the price went up all the way from a crazy of a really below like four cents, just probably like, you know, three months ago, and well, six cents, sorry. Three months ago was worth six cents and today it's at 69 cents. Oh my God, more than 12 times in the span of three months, okay? That's how crazy it is, all right? Okay, so of course, will this continue? Well, this is interesting. Now, yesterday, I was telling you guys about Dogecoin and I mentioned that, right, when it hit 70 cents, take some profit, right? I told you guys. And apparently the moment when I screen captured this at 69 cents, right, that was a high. <laughs> apparently that was a really the high. That was a high and almost immediately after that, I said that <laughs> Dogecoin came all the way down to drop under 58 cents. Oh my God. So from 69 cents, it dropped all the way to 58 cents at one moment, okay? Before it rebounded to 66 cents. So all I can say is this, maybe uh, <laughs> our MAO is being watched by the big boys. <laughs> okay, like, I think it's a joke here. But nonetheless, itself, right now, Dogecoin is trading about 50, 60 cents right now. Um, we have can see that some support at 58, 50, 59 cents. So maybe if the price comes down to 59, 58 cents, if you feel like buying, then you can go for it again. But of course, again, people may say this is way too expensive. They feel that there'll be some problem here. So of course, you can just give it a miss. All right, so what is the main reason that pushing Dogecoin all the way up? Right, because of this, okay, this coming Saturday, there is a speculation that Tesla CEO Elon Musk plan to have appearance on the NBC Saturday Night Live. Now this Saturday Night Live is a very big event for NBC. Many people are watching this and there is a speculation that right, Elon Musk might be coming up. So that's why I say the Doge father, SNL, May 8th. All right, so the thing is this, is this for real? Now the thing is, uh, there's no confirmation yet at the moment right now, unless I'm wrong. Okay, so people are buying in anticipation that you know Elon will do something or say something for Dogecoin. The question is this, okay? What if he don't appear? That's first one. What if he appear but don't talk about it or because not able to talk about it, then what will happen? Then obviously the euphoria will be <laughs> dampened and of course things may get very ugly. So that's why there are people saying that, right, this is going to be very, must be very careful because once the enthusiasm roll out and there's no developer on this, no institution coming in, okay, this become a big, big problem. So in fact, it's all right. <laughs> Okay, it is a little bit of a middle finger to the system. Really, my God, this is really very bad, very crude, right? So you can see that example like Coinbase uh, is a listed company. All right, this company do have Dogecoin with a market cap of 78 billion. And basically in short itself, right? On paper, uh, Coinbase, the exchange, right? It's only worth 56 billion. So my God, that singular coin is worth more money than a public listed company and exchange. So this is really ridiculous. All right. So of course, people may say, Kel, is it a good time to take profit and get out of this? Well, it is all depending on how you see from here, my friends. Okay, if you think that this is actually a worthy investment just to keep for the fun of it, you can just quickly do, you can do that. But you think that if this is really overdone and you think that this is really ridiculous and you want to get out of it, well, I think if you are in profit, just get out, 
All right. Because I won't know exactly what will Elon Musk say on the coming Saturday. I already don't know. And all I can tell you is this. This guy is a bit eccentric. So, you know, things can turn for the worse. So you do your own due diligence and make sure that you know why you're going for, right? I think that is more important. Okay. All right. Uh, for our site itself, uh, to me, I'm just going to keep it. I'm uh, just going to keep it and let's see how it goes. I don't really care much. Not a lot of money there. Just keep it there. You know, let's see what happens. Just for the fun of it. Okay. All right. More important is BTC's usage in USA. Now, apparently, it's all right. For the first time, the customer of some US bank, US bank, uh, the smaller ones, will be able to actually uh, buy, hold, and sell Bitcoin through their existing account according to crypto custody firm NYDISG, all right? So apparently you saw, right, this is quite crazy. So you can actually see that now that, right, more and more people is able to actually accept Bitcoin in their daily life. And of course, interest can be paid through Bitcoin too. Oh my God. So according to hundreds of smaller banks signed on, giants like JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America could face pressure to offer crypto to their retail banking customers. Now we know that the bank, the big banks are offering Bitcoin to their so-called high-end customers, but not the retail yet. So think about this. Imagine if they were to really allow Bitcoin to be accepted by the retail banking customers. Oh my God. The upside is this going to be crazy. All right. It's going to be incredible. So of course, the, the you know, all right, uh, you, you can have, uh, you must understand this. Of course, this is like very positive news, but again, you must understand it's only if it happens, all right? So if it's not going to happen, then of course, the, the, the market will be dampened, all right, by this. So FYI, this is going to be really cool. That's why in my own personal opinion, I still believe that Bitcoin will climb slowly, steadily to about $72,000 in the near, near term, now, in my perspective, all right? So that is my personal take. So I don't know whether this is going to be in line with other people. Of course, some people say they could work at hundreds of thousands, you know, one million. That one, I will not want to, I will not comment on that, okay? Okay, so we have covered basically the, um, the global news on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and stuff like that. So we really can get an idea. So uh, just a quick one, just to just show you live. Okay, this is where you can actually consider to get your um, coin information. You can go to coindesk.com and then you can key in, right? You can see right now live, Dogecoin is now trading, whoa, down by 11.91%, okay? It's now at 59 cents already, okay? So you can see that, right? This coin is really very flamboyant, a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs. So if you were to basically trade on it, you must do it fast. If you want to make money out of it, also must, you know, must be out and right and right time. If you're going to hold, do not touch thing may happen. Who knows, it may go down back to 40 cents again. No, no one knows this thing, right? It's just to be a joke. But like I say, the only good reason why I might still involved in this because I trust Elon Musk, at least for now, okay? So Elon Musk, we know he is a really a genius in his own rights. So I suspect that in my opinion, uh, later on as well, right, in my opinion, he will again surpass Jeff Bezos, all right, in my personal perspective. I just think that way. Like, maybe not now, maybe about five years time, okay? Something like that. Okay, so you can get your information from coinbase.com, okay? There's a lot, all different coins are there. Okay, so uh, let's look at our own trading yesterday. Now, on trading yesterday, we did okay. And initially, there was a loss first, KCX, right? Blue turned green, then the color change came in, CCRY, we purchased it. Everything was okay, but then the price came back down, so we'll stop out. Then after that, secondary, the, then the second trade, we came back in again, color change, KCX, and color change, CCRY, that was where we buy. And of course, we, we made money on the first, second trade. And then the third trade, you can see again, KCX blink. So CCRY, we buy, and of course, we make some money. Now, because we were not very comfortable with the overall movement of Bitcoin, right? So we lowered down our per risk per trade to $150 to $200. So that's why overall, we actually won about $32. Huh? The first trade, we actually lost money. Then the second trade and third trade, we win back some money. So overall, we make about $32. So this is very, very clear that, you know, you can really make money in the market. Of course, I think I'm very sure with your own trading, you can even make more money than us. You can see that we can hold all the way and you can know how to do and manipulate the market. I mean, play with your orders and stuff like that. So end of the day, you can use this as a guidance, all right? That means that when we trade, right, you can actually see this if you're on the trade with the boys uh, social media, social trading network, right? You will be able to see this live on your handphone. So whenever our traders trade, you get the information from us through Telegram and also you basically get to see the trade live. 
All right, so this is pretty cool. And of course, when you see that itself, you feel comfortable, you can actually do more trading on your own on the site. That will be the most important thing, right? That is the whole point that we are trying to drive to basically help more traders to make money in the market and really give you live information. All right, this is really cool. Okay, so I've basically covered the uh, most of the stuff for today. Now we go live into the market once again. All right, let's take a look right now. Okay, so let's look at our Bitcoin first. Now, Bitcoin, if you look at it, right, let me just do a very simple Fibonacci here. If you take the highest point here, okay, let me change the color first. Corner. Let me change the color to something attractive. Okay. So if I take the highest point and I'll drag it down all the way to the lowest point recently, okay, here we go. We get our Fibonacci figures, the retracement. And um, let me go through deeper with you. Okay, you can see that now that, that this, thing, this thing 61 point, you know, 61 point for Fibonacci is a very, very powerful resistant level. Okay, it's a very powerful resistant level. So that's why you can see when Bitcoin come up here, once you touch the 61.8, it pulls back. Then it maintain above the 50% mark. It maintain above the 50% mark, okay? And it rebounded. But once it go past the 61.8, it couldn't stay and it pulled back down again. Then after that, because of that, it goes all the way down and even test back the 38.2 level. But after it test the 38.2 level, it basically rebounded. And the last two days, the market tried to go below the 38.2 level and it always rebound. So this 38.2 level, let me give you the figure exactly. Uh, hold on. Uh. It's about 54,000, all right? I mentioned this yesterday. So there is a very strong support at about 54,000 for the Bitcoin. So as long as Bitcoin stay above 54,000, right, man, I know the trading day should be okay. Now you can see Bitcoin is trying to go higher, but it's being resisted at the 61.8 level. Now the 61.8 level is around this 58,000 about 58,000. So which means that, right, the near-term resistance is at 58,000. The near-term support is at 54,000. Okay, got the idea? So as long as the market trades within this range, the market will be range bound. But if the market can really go higher, then of course the next target it will go after it crossed the 58,000. That is this, uh, this um, uh, KCB level or chocolate bar at 60,707. Okay, on the downside, if the market bridges 54,000, then there's a good chance that Bitcoin may go all the way down and may really go below the 50,000 mark. Okay, so because of that as well, right, I will tell traders this just go slow, trade with it, it will be a better idea than actually go long in the market. All right, if everybody is clear at this junction here, please keep the word clear, C-L-E-A-R. All right, wait for you guys, that's 46 of you guys. All right, if you are clear and you understand what I just said, all right, please key the word clear, C-L-E-A-R. Okay, that's 46 of you guys. Are you going to key in for me? Okay, trade the boys. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thank you once again. All right, so that is the range for the Bitcoin. All right, so let's look at the range for Ethereum, shall we? Okay, now this is Ethereum. So it's not coming down. In fact, it's been surging. So, well, if that's the case, then we'll do the Fibonacci retracement in a different way. We take the lowest point to the highest point. Can you see that? Okay, that means that this is the retracement potential. So, what I'm trying to say is, if let's say the market pulls back for some reason, all right, and it comes down to here. Now, this point here is a plus, uh, it's about 3,000. So, which means that if the market for Ethereum drop from 3,400 or 3,400, drops down back to 3,000, this could be a very good time to look to buy into the Ethereum market, okay? Because 
high pulls back, every retracement is a good buy. Of course, the 61 point is right over here. That is about 2,000, uh, 2,180 level. But of course, I don't think that will come down. So I think 3,000 will be a pretty fair figure that I believe that the uh, Ethereum shall we pull back. There will be this support there at 3,000. Okay. All right. At the moment now, the boys are still buying a lot. There's no blue bars at the bottom. So it's going to be quite tough to see a buy on the day chart. Okay. All right, so let's just look at the uh, conventional. Now, conventional chart basically shows that there is a MA200 here, MA70, which the market touches it and rebounded. So that tells you that there is some artificial support now for Bitcoin. That's, that's a good idea. And the MA11 is also closing in. So now we're going to see a pretty strong support at about 56,100 to 200 level. Now, of course, if the market can stay strong, we will see Bitcoin trading pass to about 58,000 later. But if the market weak and close below the MA11, then traders, you need to be very, very careful. They might bring the market down a bit more. Okay. So this is what we are seeing right now for Bitcoin for the long term. Now for Ethereum, it's definitely a runaway winner. You can see that the MA11 and MA70 is very far away. So I don't think in the near term, we're going to see any form of pullback yet, right? But of course, if the market do come down all the way to the MA30, that's about 31,000. That is the same level that I mentioned that uh, you know Ethereum might be going down if there is a problem, all right? So this is the... The level that I mentioned for Ethereum. So watch out for 3150. That will be the level that will be pretty cool to look out for. All right, cool. All right, so that is the Ethereum and the Bitcoin overall. So I like to just summarize this. Overall, I will say that, right, if you have money, you can buy more Ethereum, all right, then lesser Bitcoin. I've been saying that. And of course, if you want to guess to gamble, just to you know, gamble, sorry, to speculate. Yes, the right way speculate. All right, you just consider you can consider putting in to Dogecoin. All right. If you really want to give a really speculate, just put buy some Dogecoin and just push it there. Or Dogecoin. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dogecoin to be correct. Okay. And then after that, if you really want to still want to look into a smaller coin, maybe ADA, like I say. All right, you can try to just play some. That's a small, small figure, I think it's fine. Or, or BNB. Okay, guys, that will be the part one of today's uh, afternoon MAO. Now, let's go into something else, the financial market, and let's take a look right now. Now, the financial market this, mo this morning, we saw craziness in Hang Seng. Initially, Hang Seng went all the way up, right? Then after it got resisted at pivot one, something I told you before, because the day chart of the Hang Seng, it was red in color. Hence, therefore, right, when the market hit the pivot one, it just couldn't go higher. And of course, when it goes below the pivot two, a uh, pivot one, sorry, and this is where you sell your Hang Seng. And of course, Hang Seng on this point plunged all the way down 340 points. And incredibly, the moment it touched P2, all right, instead of going down further, it touched and rebounded. And it also basically is a stack over here. So CCRY, color change over with P2, naturally it's a buy. So with that understanding, if you buy, you will make some money out here. So sell was correct, buy was correct. So this is how powerful is our pivot trading. All right, this is something to watch out for. Okay, so that is the Hang Seng. Let's look at the other market like corner. Okay, let's look at Dow Jones. Now, Dow Jones today, uh, overall, is not at a day high. Uh, Dow Jones, right, this morning, all right, above P2's color change, CCRY was a buy. So that's why you should buy it here. And of course, first profit was given. Then after that, it came all the way down. Suddenly, I don't know why, what happened to the market. It just suddenly came off. Okay, got no news on that. And after that, you see it basically sideways. And CCRY above P2 was a buy call. This is above OP2. And again, the Dow Jones go higher. So you don't, don't you find that, right? This is just, you do just practically follow the colors and trade according to plan. That is really incredible. Simple, easy, right? And definitely consistent. Okay, so that is what happened to the uh, Dow Jones. And let's look at the other market like NASDAQ. NASDAQ also found strength. Now the day chart for today, KSI is red, but it stays above OP, then the market will be going up. So this, you can see initially went up to KTR plus one, beautifully stopped there. So based on rule, CCYR can short because it triggered the KTR plus one. And of course it came down a few X's. 
But then after that, it got self-stabilized around opening price and CCRY again, the price go all the way up and most likely going to touch the KTR plus two level. So that is the strength of the market. All right, regardless. And of course, the Hang Seng, sorry, Hang Seng, the S&P 500, sorry. S&P 500, the KSI is green. So definitely any KTR minus one will be a good buy. So let's take a look. Did the market go there? Nope, the market did not go to KTR plus one, minus one, but it did stop at beautifully at the, the TSCB level. And once the market touched the TSCB level, instantly it rebounded. And when it crossed pivot one, that was where by the price go all the way up. Very clear buy signal, all right? Color change at pivot is always a very good trade, all right? I've been saying this many times and I know some of you caught it already. So whenever you see color change at the pivot, they get very, very excited, okay? So that is Bitcoin. Now, China A50, this is why Hang Seng pulled back. Wow, look at it, gigantic pullback. It's a big BNB. It was all the way up initially, right? Then after that, don't know what happened. It pulled back now and it's still coming off a little bit. Uh, let me take a look right now. It's off by almost 300 points from the high. Oh my God. So what is causing this? We are not sure yet, but based on technical aspect, we know that the MA30 is supposed to be surface support. It failed already. And of course, the resistance is MA200. And probably that is the reason why the market couldn't go any higher. So that is what happened to China A50. Now, DAX is, has just opened, right? DAX has opened and now it's trading even higher above opening, above MLP and above the MA30 right now. So it's very healthy. It should be able to trade higher to 15,311, all right? DAX should be able to trip 15,311 here. That is the last BNB level, right? Where is it? Sorry. Hmm? Hold on. Huh? Okay, I think there's some... Arrow here. Here you go. Okay, so that's why the market stopped at the BMB SL level and then rebounded. Pretty cool, right? It's very, very cool. A lot of things can be explained through the lines. Okay, so that is what happened to the DEX. And of course, let's look at a quick one at gold. Gold is surging higher. This morning, tested MLP and recovered. So that's why you can see gold trading higher. Silver also, sorry, silver also tried to recover now. Silver is trading up above OP, right? Most likely across MLP, most likely it may be looking to test too. So gold and silver is going up right now. Okay, this is the 50 minute chart on our system. You can see that CCRY, red to yellow is a buy. Another one is that here, CCRY, right? Above OP, above pivot one, naturally is a buy on the market. So that's why earlier we do a KCX trade. We are uh, we already, sorry, earlier is that we do a trade right here. KCX, we make money. And now there's a second trade. There's, bunk, there's no blue bar. So that tells you that the market is really bullish. Sorry, my moment now. Okay, so that is the gold market. We have talked about silver. Let's look at the first last one is crude oil. Crude oil is also up this morning. I mentioned crude oil should be going higher. So now it seems to be crossing the MLP line. I strongly believe that could could go even higher to about $67, okay? I told you guys, $66.89 is my resistance, but I suspect that you may just touch $70 just for the sake of touching it. Okay, so that is my, 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 my sharing for today on the cryptocurrency, on why this ETH is better than BTC. And also, I shared about what the possible risk when, if I say this other day, Elon Musk doesn't appear. And last but not least, the technical aspect of the market, which I find very good. And traders can actually utilize this to make money out of it. All right. XRP, I could have XRP chart here, my friend. So I don't know. All right. Arun, but congratulations to your DEX. Huh? Wow, well done. Your DEX is making money right now. Okay, uh, thank you guys for today's uh, waiting for me. I appreciate your time. I'll see you live again tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. All right, this is Cal signing off. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheers.